I'm Dr. Amy. It's time for another Tuesday tip. This month in Genetic Rockstars, we are talking about highly sensitive people. So there is research showing that high sensitivity is about 60% genetic and about 40% environment, right? And high sensitivity folks, people like me, uh, do better in very peaceful environments, especially in childhood, and there are some long-term consequences if that doesn't happen, blah, 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 all the things. So we do know there's a strong genetic component, and we're just starting to scratch the surface of what the genes are that are involved. So far, genes that have been studied are linked to like dopamine processing, stress response, um, some other generalized neurotransmitter levels, things like that but we have not got into the nitty gritty yet. And MTHFR is not a gene that has been studied. Now I have to say, in my practice, I would say a very high percentage of my MTHFR folks, which is most of my practice, are actually highly sensitive folks as well. Now, does that mean anything? Not necessarily, because I am highly sensitive, and so chances are there's a selection bias there, right? The people that find me as clients are probably similar to me, because those are the people that my, you know, marketing or the way I speak or whatever, the way I present would appeal to. And so that might be a confounding factor here. That might be what I'm seeing. But honestly, it's such a high percentage that I think there is also a link between MTHFR and highly sensitive people. And there is research showing that like highly sensitive people, MTHFR kids, if they're exposed to a lot of trauma in childhood, have the same long-term consequences. So I do think there's a few reasons for overlap. Also, MTHFR does affect neurotransmitter levels even though it hasn't necessarily been researched for high sensitivity, it has been shown to affect neurotransmitter levels. And so I think there's a reasonable basis of suspicion that people with MTHFR may be more likely to be people with also high sensitivity. So it's something to think about. And if you do have MTHFR, again, you know, high sensitivity, we have this picture of kind of like this emotional wilting flower. It's not that. Part of this is awareness and reframing because if you are highly sensitive, actually going through the process of discovering that about yourself can really help you to function better in the world because then it's not like, why can't I handle this thing that other people seem to do fine with, like co-working, which we talked about last week. Why can't I do that, right? Why can't I work when the room is super noisy and there's phones ringing everywhere and everybody's typing and buzzing and doing their own things and getting up and sitting down and da 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 Why is my brain paying attention to all of those things instead of my work? Well, it is because your brain is highly sensitive and it's very trained to pick up on those perceptions and process them, right? Where other brains are not. And it's kind of a superpower, but it also comes with downfalls, which is like, we need that retreat time to actually sit back and process and let that all sort of soak in and, and then unwind, right? And so, you know, it, a lot of this comes down to actually learning this thing about yourself. There are some online tests, actually, let me get the web address. So HS person dot com has some online tests that you can fill out for yourself or for your child uh, to see if you or your child are highly sensitive and then there's a specifically a specific test for children to fill out for themselves this is children between the ages of 8 and 18 for a self-assessment and that's at sensitivityresearch.com and i will put those links in this tuesday tip um, just to make sure that you can find the test for yourself. But having that awareness and acceptance really actually helps you optimize this gift rather than looking at it as only a challenge, right? Okay, Tuesday tip. Bye, guys.